Honda Riders on that side. BMW set up over there, number one. And set up over there, number two, by the river. A column number. So soon enough, we were uh, heading off road and um, turning into a national park where we were going to spend the night. There was a bit of bushfires on the left hand side as we uh, headed in on a nice red dirt road. I was hanging back trying to keep out of the dust and uh, having a bit of a look around and uh, unbeknownst to me in the distance a uh, little bit of drama was unfolding. So Barry was leading and hit a uh, very deep, very thick, very long patch of bull dust. Entered on the left hand side of the road, went across three lanes and ended up on the right hand side. But uh, on a positive note, he was okay. So here we are camped at Glen Booker. My bike and tent is over there. Barry's bike and tents are over there. Neil's bike and tents are over there. Because last night someone snored. Well, actually, all of us snored. So we blasted into Silverton just outside Broken Hill and saw a couple of old 4x4s checking out the new 4x4s. And uh, it was pretty uh, interesting, historic place to go and uh, we were in there looking for uh, some of Neil's relatives who were from the area. So some of these roads were the roads that were used in Mad Max 2 and uh, when you looked around they did have a bit of a familiar feel and uh, look to them and then we rode over the hill and down to the famous corner where uh, at the end of Mad Max 2 the tanker which is filled with the um, uh, sand rather than filled with petrol has uh, tipped over on its side so uh, yeah it was interesting to ride down there and see the area. There are various ways to travel in the outback uh, when you're on dirt roads and you know you can choose to spread out a minute or so between each of you or you can ride side by side a little bit offset for safety like we are in this particular section because uh, you could actually see if someone was coming from a long long way away because of the dust plume. Um, if I turned around and showed you what was behind us even though you know we're not accelerating hard or doing anything silly it just kicks up a lot of dust in the terribly dry conditions 
so uh, it was a good way to make good time pull up quickly you could both you know uh, look at whatever intersection or whatever and decide and go um, without having to wait a minute for the person in second place to pull up all the time I was glad I had my uh, pre-filters on uh, fitted in my uh, airbox though you still got some dust We uh, stopped at anything interesting and had a look around. There's a lot of wrecks down there of old buildings that are built out of uh, stone and still survive. Obviously down there that's how they uh, had to do it because of the harsh winters whereas I think everything up here from the uh, 1800s was probably wood and you know we just don't see it anymore. Um, then there was just a whole lot of the same. At least now that we're in the Flinders Ranges there was something in the uh, distance to look at. Some curves on the road, um, you know, proper trees as well as um, scrub and bush and everything else and you know it wasn't boring. Um, so you know when there's something to look around at it actually makes you uh, not just look at the road and look at the side of the road for kangaroos and emus and, and everything else. and. Uh, actually have a little bit of an appreciation for what an interesting part of the country the uh, Flinders is and it's not really until you ride through the uh, boring flat bits that you really realize you know just uh, how large a country we've got that's basically flat and um, you know there's interesting bits and pieces peppered all around it so uh, you know it was chilly some mornings and uh, you know definitely uh, knew that we were in South Australia but also gave us some roads like this that were uh, you know much more interesting this one is Black's Gap heading in there was actually really interesting um, nice little twin track that um, went through the ranges from one side of the pound to the other side of the pound over towards where we were heading and um, you know it was a nice nice road there was little green sections in there obviously with uh, water being fed in from somewhere and uh, went up to a little plateau overlooking the uh, area that we could go up and and uh, I think the boys put their drones up up there but um, you know nice bit of road and uh, interesting bit of scenery it really uh, shows you know some of the uh, roads that the Africa Twin is uh, very well suited to. It's very relaxing to ride on that kind of road. Um, it just went where you pointed it, especially mine being a DCT. You know, I could kick back and uh, leave it in one of the sports modes and pretty much let it do its own thing. The only thing I'd do sometimes coming into a corner, I'd flip it down a couple of gears and uh, get the engine braking happening a little more. Um, you know, usually when we pulled up, I'd go for a little explore and see what was down side roads and, and bits and bobs to see if there was anything interesting because I knew the boys were going to put their drone up on that one. And, uh, you know, it's always interesting to see what's uh, at the end of some of these roads. We knew that the whole section that we were on was a uh, no through road and dead ended somewhere. But um, yeah, it's fun to get out and have a little bit of a blast. Uh, and a look around not having to worry about dust or anything else and this one just went down to a bit of a car park kind of area and um, then I zipped back and uh, saw what the boys were up to so I'll probably leave this video here uh, for this one this was pretty much the uh, roads that we rode leading up to uh, and in and around uh, the uh, Flinders Ranges which was our our goal um, on the final video I'll do a little bit more of the Flinders Ranges and where we go up to Arkarula 
and uh, have a look around there. And then the Stress Lackey and Cameron's Corner at home and um, probably finish that on the third video. The good thing about this particular uh, stretch of road was it was really interesting. You know, you could give it a good blast on the way out. So uh, we uh, uh, had a bit of fun on the last section and um, I was in the lead so I didn't have to worry about dust or anything else and uh, yeah, gave it a bit of a, yeah, a, bit of a burl. So uh, enjoy and we'll see you on the third and final one.